Alright people, about two months ago I added two pee puffers into my 200 litre Fluval Roma which as you can see has angel fish and loads of other big fish and um yeah here's the update to see how they were doing. Alright first things first for anyone who hasn't watched the first video of this where I added the pee puffers I didn't just do a horrible experiment to see if they would survive there was actually a reason why I added them which is pest snails. You see it's a big tank and I somehow managed to get some pest snails it just happens sometimes when you have things like live plants and that and yeah i was thinking of putting assassin snails in but i've got rabbit snails in here which i didn't want to get touched so i thought hey let me go for pea puffers and see if they would eat the pest snails now generally the rule is you shouldn't really put pea puffers with anything else because they're so aggressive but because everything here was so big and at the same time there's loads of plants in here where they could hide i thought to myself i should be able to put a few in here and they'll be able to eat all the pest snails and they should be safe from all the other fish and people that's exactly what happened oh one of them literally just came out now he's right here yeah i'll get some b-roll footage as well that I put over it but yeah the pea puffers as soon as they came in on the first day a few of the angel fish like tried to chase them a little bit but them little puffers they are fast man the angel fish tried for like a few minutes and then it gave up because they were so fast and then like i said there's so many hiding places in this tank they were able to hide um pretty quickly and and over time i noticed that the pest snails were getting were basically vanishing now the thing is people i did get worried at one point because a lot of the pest snails were just gone and I thought, ah, what are they going to eat? Because I only really put bloodworms in three times a week, like every two days. But by chance, I don't know how it happened. I think my mom took a little plant from this tank and put it in our Fluval Flex, which is downstairs, which is a small 57 litre. And the pest snails made a little population in there. I couldn't believe it. And there's nothing really we can do about it because that tank really is mainly for our shrimps. So anything we put in there to kill off the snails would most likely also eat the shrimps. So we just kind of had to deal with it. But... It worked out for the best because it gave me an unlimited supply of pet snails that I can just chuck into this tank and keep my pea puffers happy on the days that they don't get bloodworms. By the way, let's tackle the main question which I'm sure why most people are watching this video which is to answer the question of can pea puffers live in a big tank like this with angels and stuff like that and um, like I said right now the pea puffer is out. I'm gonna grab the camera after I finish this section to do some b-roll footage and hopefully I can get it where you can literally see the pea puffers swimming right next to the angel fish and no one's bothering anyone all right just to clarify quickly people everything i'm saying that is what worked for my tank in it it worked with my angel fish and the pea puffers that i bought like it just happened to all work out perfectly in it but you do need to be aware that if you're going to add pea puffers to your tank and you have angel fish and stuff in there it could go wrong at the end of the day it's trial and error in it like i said there's only two in there and the two they do meet up every now and then and swim together and i am planning to add a few more now i'm sure most of you can see but i do have some new fish in here as well that i didn't really update you guys on um truth be told i kind of put this channel on the back seat a little bit because i was working on my other channels but i'm gonna start um working on this channel again and i will do an update on all the new fish but um yeah i'll make sure i do a proper update video for you guys also if anyone's wondering the external filter that i'm using is keeping my water crystal clear it's looking beautiful um it was definitely worth the money but yeah in conclusion people the peep offers are fine i will do another update in a few months if you enjoyed this video people why don't you check one of these next